Hi everybody, welcome to Lucy the Antigua Road. My name is Lucy and uh, thanks for visiting my reading for this month for Capricorn 2016 of June. And I do have your spread here waiting for you, so let's take a look at it. Okay, my dear Capricorn, so here is your reading for the month of June. It's a nine card spread. The card in the middle is you. This is the Two of Pentacles. This is you guys right now. All of the cards surrounding the Two of Pentacles are the energies that are coming in or influencing or identifying different aspects of what's going on in your life. Remember, this is a general reading, my dear Capricorns. So, let's start with your center. Well, let's go over the cards. Coming in, the energy coming in, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay. And then you have the Four of Pentacles. That's the Four of Pentacles. This is the Rider Waite Smith deck. And it is in Spanish. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles. Caballero de Oros. And this is what's crowning. At the center, you have two queens. Right next to your center, you have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. Actually, it's a pretty nice reading, you guys. And then at the bottom, which is like your new base, your found your new foundation, or the beginning, uh, new beginnings, you have the tower. This is a major arcana, and uh, we all pretty much know what that means. But we'll go over it. And then we have death, another major arcana. And your reading is leaving with the six of swords let me put that there for you so you guys can see it okay very good so let's get started we're going to start with the center card which is the two of pentacles and this is you know obviously it's balancing and you're you're balancing things pretty good even though it's getting a little difficult and it might even be getting a little challenging, all right, um, just because of the waves that are getting really big. That's, you know, that's what that means. Uh, so you could be like testing the waters, testing new ground. Uh, you could also probably have a lot of things going on, multitasking and trying to keep your priorities in check. It could also be saying that you're hitting the limits and cannot go any further. It could also mean that. Even so, you are still doing pretty good. You're doing a pretty good job. But it is advising you not to overdo it. Because you are on the brink of spilling, everything falling apart. Now, this card is saying that you could expand. Okay, you could expand, but you need to plan carefully. That's what it's saying. It's also reminding you or asking you if you are taking notes of your priorities because you could be taking on too much and that's what this um that's what your center is saying my dear friends all right coming in to your reading you have the ace of cups and in this card cups are emotions okay and uh, it's a very positive card. It is a good luck card. It means new beginnings, new friendships. Okay. Uh, it can also um, be saying that maybe you will be regaining your confidence. And this is what's coming in for the month of June. It's awesome. You could be regaining your confidence. And you will be getting recognition. It's also saying to express yourself. 
a lovely card. It's also um, possibly you might be finding love and emotional fulfillment. Be honest and caring. Love for work and finding love at work. That's what this card is saying. Trust, love, being open. Happiness and contentment. Sharing and loving. Okay. Love for work and finding happiness at work, as we said earlier. Honesty at work is key. A good omen if you are waiting to gain popularity, Capricorns. Maybe you will you will achieve a little bit of popularity in your life. Also, perhaps some social advancement at work. Very positive. Okay, so we have the we're starting out with these two cards. Let me just kind of pull these out of the way a little bit, so we can kind of take a look at these two. Okay, balancing and trying not to take on too much and setting priorities. Okay, because you are at a brink, but you're being promised some really positive things here. But especially or specifically, it is telling you love for work and finding love at work, finding happiness at work, honesty and uh, at work are is key very important and if you are waiting to gain popularity also per perhaps social advancement at work it's possible okay so very very positive positive stuff going on here my dear Capricorns after your ace of cups you have the four of pentacles and this cup, this card can mean a lot of different things. It could mean that you're holding on to everything for sentimental value. You're holding on to stuff for sentimental value. So it's telling you to just remember that you don't have to keep everything. You might be holding on to emotions, not things. That's what this card is also saying. Holding on to emotions from the past. This is your second card that's coming in, and it is crowning your center. Okay, your center card right here. It says to let go a bit and move on. Okay, also you might be in fear of something. Okay, and this is holding you back from moving forward. All right, my dear Capricorns. So don't hold on too tight, loosen up a little bit. All right. And also, um, this card can also denote withholding, uh, denying access, uh, conser conserving, and um, it could affect relationships. Either you're withholding or stuff is being withheld from you. Either you're denying access or access is being denied to you, etc. Okay. Okay, so the challenge here, it seems to me, is that you might be withholding a little bit too much, you might be emotionally unavailable, or you might be going through a phase where you're sharing a little bit but um, not enough you're still withholding too much that's what this is saying you're starting to share a little bit but you really need to stop withholding especially emotionally or not being communicative with what you're, you're feeling or what you're going through withholding too much information is making you inaccessible as you close in on yourself, the relationships around you close in on themselves too. And suddenly you might be feeling trapped in a, in a situation or in a relationship and you 
can figure out a way to open up. So stop withholding. That's what this card is telling you. Emotionally stop withholding. All right, so that's the second card coming in and it's crowning your reading. So that's the energy that's coming in. Okay, you, you have a good omen here at the beginning, but you've got this energy. And then you have the Knight of the Knight of Pentacles. And um, this is a court card. You have three court cards in your reading. The two queens and the knight. Okay, and this is the Knight of Pentacles. And um, this, this card denotes money, finances, and work. And it is a good card. It's a very positive card. You have been waiting to hear some news, perhaps uh, for a job or uh, a project that you're interested in. Um, perhaps this news will be very good. It might it might have a good outcome for you, but you're going to have to be a little patient. This is what this card's saying. It's talking about yes good news is coming in probably but you have to be very patient so it's also reminding you that every little bit helps so in regards to money it is saying to check all the small things you are buying and to realize that they can add up to a whole lot of money So perhaps kind of check your spending, especially if you want to do um, a major costly kind of endeavor, uh, whatever that may be. It's kind of reminding you, reminding you, maybe you've been kind of thinking of doing something like that. That's what this card might be in, implying. And so it's telling you to kind of check that and maybe stop doing that and save your money it is a good card though if you're looking for work because everything you have invested toward it you know your years of experience the things that you've learned education all of that's going to pay off so you are on course very good you are on course um you could also be feeling very spiritually open. It's possible. And if that is the case, and then, well, maybe you're starting to feel that way, you know, and uh, you're in the process of opening up a little bit more. So you could be feeling spiritual, spiritually open. And this card is telling you to to embrace this. That if if you do, when you embrace this energy, you will realize the power within yourself. All right. So that is what's crowning your reading this month, my dear Capricorn. So now let's move on to your center cards. And pull them up a little bit. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. And this Queen of Wands, oh boy, this is a woman that you probably know. Actually, both of these are probably women you know. Now, the Wands are fire and they're action. And they could be somebody from the signs of the fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So it is a woman in your in your life. That's what she represents. And she is an independent and creative person. And um, she likes to be in the front lines. She likes to be the first one. She's a leader. She she it gets involved. She's dynamic and energetic, and she's the life of the party, basically. 
he brings a lot of life into uh, social situations she's got a very strong fire energy so this could represent somebody you know who's a woman or somebody who has these characteristics this card though could be saying to watch out for people around you that they are in it only for themselves so just be careful you know what's going on out there with the people around you uh, it could also mean that maybe you'll meet somebody with these traits and it's also telling you to embrace your life and to live it so it is it is a positive card uh, it means having determination and it's an omen for love and um, it could indicate that you might start doing things that you never thought you would find yourself doing very very nice card okay and this is at your side and this queen these queens are you know walking hand in hand with you in in the center right now and this queen the queen of pentacles la reina de oros as we say in spanish um she could be she's an uh, this is an earth energy and it could represent the signs of virgo taurus or another capricorn it's probably a woman that you know or someone that has these characteristics okay she's independent and self-made she's generous nurturing and comforting she's strong and dependable she's uh, very creative very innovative she's an artist she's a musician and she works very well with her hands and the call to action with this card my dear Capricorns is for growing and flowering you need to give it your love so any kind of project endeavor relationship any kind of action that you are thinking of doing or if it's in relation to work or whatever if you want something to grow and flower you have to give it your love and attention and that's what this card is saying it's also uh, this card could also be telling you that you'll be nesting getting comfortable in your new home it's telling you that it's time to get your personal things out because you now are at home so you can redecorate um, it's also in relation to work it's also telling you to personalize your workspace it could also mean that you're setting up home with someone reaching that step of commitment with someone okay regarding your finances it's telling you to put your roots down and to get settled it's all about commitment and security okay and that is what's happening with your center energies right now for this month okay and this is a general reading but again some of these things might be applying to some of you to some of you perhaps not now at the bottom of your reading the last three cards these are going to be like the new foundation or the new things that are happening that are going to be changing your life in some way obviously because you have there's definitely change sudden change with the tower and actually the tower la torre is denoting a need for change people who are important to you may no longer be around so you need to adopt, adapt, adapt, 
excuse me, adapt to new circumstances. It's all about letting go. It's also advising you to not make any risky investments. Now, you could be going through a sudden change right now, Capricorns. A big change that you did not see coming. That's what this tower means. Sudden change. Unexpected change. You didn't see it coming and things are shifting. It's a sudden transition and this is a, a, a big deal. I would say that this card is probably the most important thing happening right now to you this month in this reading if this resonates with you. And then right next to it you have death card the death card this card might be related to up here you know in the sense that maybe something happened because this is somebody you know this is someone you know and maybe this was a a partnership or a relationship or somebody you work with maybe and things just aren't working very well here and there's like creating it's creating this energy is creating these sudden changes down here it could feel really uh, difficult for you to uh, to uh, go through but it's big big sudden changes and then you have the death card and this is also about letting go and this is about transition and change and it's also about natural endings la muerte accept the changes you need to make take charge of your life that's what this card is saying okay and regarding money be realistic okay so you have these two major things happening and then you also have coming out of your reading Capricorns you have the six of swords and this is also about transition movement you might have to move location this card could be a turbulent time in your life this card denotes that you could be having a turbulent time in your life and it's interesting because you have these two cards in front of it okay and that's what this card is saying um, it's telling you to trust your instincts my dear Capricorns trust your instincts and just go with it because you're probably coming to a natural phase of something a job a project a relationship something that's creating these changes and it's it's an end it's a natural end things eventually had to end everything has a beginning and then it has an end this could mean that you are also it could mean that you are um, unhappy with your work and that you to, you need to be in a job where you are perhaps appreciated or supported it's telling you to make a decision and move on. It's also saying that a, uh, change, a change of scenario can be a good thing for you. So this card is not about emotional distance. It is about physical distance. Okay, my dear Capricorns. This card is also talking about getting on with your life healing excuse me and I'll, again transformation the same thing as the death card find um, there's a chance that you will find better work or more money if you expand your commute level or there could be an opportunity that's better than the ones you're getting now but you'll have to relocate either way 
it could be something good whether you relocate or not it could be something good but it, it is it is about sudden transition and move okay my dear Capricorns and that is your reading for the month of June 2016 so my dear Capricorns that is your reading for June 2016 really great reading and I hope that um, this reading finds you all doing well and uh, I hope you have a great month of June and next to family and friends and good times out in the sunshine in the fresh air because we're in summer now um, enjoying delicious little f bits of hors d'oeuvres and sandwiches and whatever uh, and enjoying life and I most of all I wish you all peace and um, I will see you in July when you come back and visit. Bye then. Mm -hmm.